Hello, my friends. I am Lori Baracco, and I welcome you to my predictions for the week of August 11th, 2024. And for the month of August, I have been using the Steampunk Fairy Tarot by Pamela Chen and Ashley Cassidy. All right, let's see what the week has in store for us. All right, I'm gonna give the cards a nice shuffle, and then I'll pull three. One from the front and the middle and back. All right, here we go. One, two, and a three. All right, the first card we have is the tower. Is the tower. So I do want to mention that I got to drop it in because I wasn't going to speak of it. But last week, for so many people, there was a lot of upheaval, a lot of change. Um, some stressful situations and just a lot. And just remember that in a fire season, we're in the Leo season, so that's a lot of fiery energy. With fiery energy, um, fire can do different things, right? It can ignite a passion. It could get your butt going, get, get you moving in gear. And it can also singe and cleanse things as a release. So just be mindful. A lot of that is coming up for many of us. Um, the next card we have is, sorry, the Four of Swords Reversed. So that's telling us that we don't need to automatically go to the worst case scenario when something happens, right? Oftentimes the mind starts that, that going through that familiar story and storytelling and replaying the past. And, and what Spirit's trying to, to share with us is that we don't need to go down that pathway yet. Just hang tight, friends. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this tells us that, look, things may be a bit chaotic. It doesn't mean you're going to be in a place and space of chaos and challenge for a long period. Just know that there are, there is and are a few new foundations that are trying to uh, take place, but sometimes you got to take it apart before you put it back together, right? And I feel like it's in more than one area. That's why I said foundations. That's why that came through. At first, I was going to say foundation. No, there are a couple of different areas in your life that want that that require some changes and some shifting of belief systems, people that are in place for it, uh, how you react or being proactive. So there are things that are moving. There are moving pieces that are going on these days and so it's really important that we try not to um, freak out uh, lose our sense of reasoning and common sense and I want to say this too one last thing is that usually there's one area that we're really challenged in and so that's where a lot of changes are taking place so we can navigate through that right we're like okay oh, I see it for what it is but with more than one area shifting and changing, it can really throw us off balance. So try to do all of your grounding exercises. Get outside, get out in nature, ground yourself, work on that root chakra, pause, breathe, and try not to make impulsive and rash decisions. Breathe into it and continue to trust and stay in a place of alignment. And I know it helps to talk about what's going on, but we don't need to over talk too, too much too much oversharing over communicating just be mindful of that so yes we start the week off with the tower but towards the end of the week we should start to see some things coming into focus and taking shape that are beneficial for our highest and best good all righty thank you so much for tuning in each and every week don't forget your smudge don't forget to court, cut those cords and try to meditate if you can and journal many blessings no mistake Bye-bye.